Hello, students. Today, we're going to talk about colors, lots of colors. And we're going to talk about clothing, what we wear. Now, first, we're going to learn the colors. Now, first we see a beautiful rainbow. This is a rainbow. And one by one, here are the colors. Now, let me write them on the board, and then you can also look at them on the computer. Okay. Red. Red. Pink. Pink. Orange. Orange. Yellow. Yellow. Green. Green. Blue. Blue. Purple. Purple. Brown. Brown. White. White. Black, black, and gray. Or there's two ways, gray or gray. Okay? These are the same. So again, we have red, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, brown, white, black, and gray. Okay? Now, we can also talk about dark and light colors. We can say dark blue, for example, dark blue, or we can say light blue, light blue, dark blue, light blue, dark pink, light pink. So we can say these for any of these colors except black or gray. Clothing. Now, let's look at clothing. First, we'll start with summer clothing for women. First, we have skirt. Skirt. This skirt, skirt, is purple. Skirt. This skirt is purple. Next we have blouse. Blouse. This blouse is white. Blouse. This blouse is white. Shorts. Shorts. Always with S. Is it one, two shorts? These shorts are light blue. Okay? Shorts. These shorts are light blue. T shirt. This T shirt is purple. Okay? T-shirt. This T-shirt is purple. Dress. This dress is red. Dress. This dress is red. Blouse. This blouse is yellow. Blouse. This blouse is yellow. Swim suit. This swim suit is orange. Swim suit. This swim suit is orange. Sun hat. 
This hat is light pink and green. Okay? Sun hat, sun hat. This hat is light pink and green. Shoes. These shoes are brown. Okay? Two shoes. Shoes. These shoes are brown. Sandals. These sandals are orange and yellow. Sandals. These sandals are orange and yellow. Okay? So these are clothes for women. Skirt, blouse, shorts, t-shirt, dress, blouse again, swimsuit, sun hat, shoes, and sandals. Okay, let's look at some clothes for men. Now, we'll look at the names and we'll look at the colors too. So, first we have shirt. Shirt. This shirt is light green. Shirt. This shirt is light green. Jeans. Probably you know jeans. These jeans are blue. They are blue jeans. Okay? Now, jeans, shorts, pants are always with S because one, two. Okay? Jeans. All right? Next, we have shorts. Again, with S. These shorts are light green. Shorts. These shorts are light green. Now, swimsuit for men and for women is one. Swimsuit. So, this swimsuit is blue. Swimsuit. This swimsuit is blue. Then we have a cap. This cap is blue. Cap. This cap is blue. Okay, so these are clothes for men. Let's look at some winter clothes. This is our next group of clothing. All right. Now, first we have coat. Coat. These coats, because there's two here, are gray and brown. Okay? All right. Coat. These coats are gray and brown. Next we have pants. Always with S. Pants. These pants are brown. Pants. These pants are brown. Sweater. This sweater is blue. It is also red, green, and black. Okay? Sweater. This sweater is blue. It is also red, green, and black. Next we have gloves, because we have two gloves for two hands. These gloves 
are red. Gloves. These gloves are red. Now we have scarf, hat, and mittens. Okay? Scarf, hat, and mittens. All right? This hat is green and blue. This hat is green and blue. This scarf is orange and yellow. And these mittens are red and blue. Okay? So, scarf, hat, and mittens. This hat is green and blue. This scarf is orange and yellow. These mittens are red and blue. Okay, let's make some more room here and we'll add some more. Now, the next one that we can add here is boots. Boots, because there's two. These boots are black. Okay? Boots. These boots are black. Now, the next one is vest. In Canada and the U.S., this is a vest. Okay? This vest is green. Okay? Vest. This vest is green. Now, the next group are clothes for business. A suit. Suit. This suit is blue. Now, a suit is top and the bottom for men and for women, okay? So a suit, this suit is blue. Tie, tie, usually for men. This tie is gray. Tie, this tie is gray. Okay, now let's practice a little bit. Now, let's talk about what people wear in the spring. So, Ali, what do people wear in the spring? They wear pants, a sweater, and a jacket. Yes. Susan, what do they wear in the fall? They wear pants, a sweater, and a jacket. Yes. Isabel, what do women wear in the summer? Okay. They wear a dress and sandals. Also, they wear shorts, a t-shirt, and sandals. Yes. Ali, what do men wear in the summer? They wear a t-shirt, shorts, and sandals. Okay. And Isabel, what do people wear in winter? They wear pants, a sweater, and boots. Yes. All right. Very good. Thank you. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. In the summer, we wear a dress and sandals. In the winter, he wears blue jeans, a sweater, and boots. In the spring, they wear pants, a sweater, and a jacket. She usually wears a dress. He often wears a suit and tie. Read and repeat.
Okay, now let's talk a little bit more about colors and clothing. And first, this is the question. What color is... Mm -hmm. So, what color are your jeans? Or what color is your shirt? And then you tell us. So, we're going to practice this with the assistants, starting with Isabel. Isabel, what color is my jacket? It is green. All right. Ali, what color is my skirt? It is black. Susan, what color is your shirt? It is light green. Yes, that's right. Ali, what color are your pants? Uh, they are brown. And Isabel, what color is your sweater? It's beige. Yes, that's good. All right. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. My jacket is black and white. Her dress is brown. His shirt is blue. Their jeans are blue. Our t-shirts are yellow and red. Read and repeat. Clothing, sentence structure. Okay, now let's review sentence structure. Now remember, a simple sentence has a subject, verb, and object or complement. Okay? And the complement finishes the sentence. Now again, a simple sentence has a subject, verb, and object or complement. A complement means that that part of the sentence completes the subject. Okay, here's some examples. Molly is a teacher. Molly, subject, is verb teacher is a complement. So the idea is like this Molly teacher. Okay? Molly equals teacher. Molly teacher. Okay? Now another example. Her jacket is blue. Ah, it's not blue today, but, okay, her jacket is blue. Subject, verb, complement. Because it's like this, jacket, blue. All right? So this is the complement. It's talking about the jacket. All right? Now, this is about the complement. If we talk about the object... An object gets the action, okay? The subject does the action on the object. So, Molly speaks English. Molly speaks English, okay? There's no equal sign here, all right? Okay, here's another example. We wear shorts. We wear shorts. Subject, we. Verb, the action. Verb, wear. What? Shorts. Okay? We wear shorts. Here's another one. 
Now you think about this. You think about it and the shirt is red. Now this is the subject. This is the verb. What is this? Compliment. Okay? Because it finishes the shirt. All right? Good. Now remember this. Now we're going to put about, talk about putting sentences together. Now, here we go. We're going to join sentences with three words. One, and. And. Like a plus. Okay? It joins information. Okay? And is a joining word. Or is a choice. A choice. This or that. Okay? And then finally we have but, which is opposite information. Opposite information. Okay? So we have and, which joins information, or, which is a choice, oops, or, which is a choice, and but, which is opposite, okay? And, or, but. Now, we're going to take two sentences and put them together using these words, okay? Are you ready? Here's some examples. All right, we wear shorts and we wear t-shirts. All right, we wear shorts and we wear t-shirts. Okay, that's two things. We wear shorts or we wear jeans. We wear shorts or we wear jeans. Okay? You can't wear shorts and jeans at the same time. We wear shorts but we don't wear jeans. Okay? We wear shorts, but we don't wear jeans. Okay? We wear shorts and we wear t-shirts. We wear shorts or we wear jeans. We wear shorts, but we don't wear jeans. Okay? Now, <clears throat> here are some more examples. We'll use women this time. Okay. Women wear shorts and they wear skirts. Okay? Women wear shorts and they wear skirts. One day shorts, one day skirts. No problem. Women wear shorts or they wear jeans. Women wear shorts or they wear jeans. And then the third example, women wear skirts but men do not wear skirts, usually. Women wear skirts, but men do not wear skirts. Okay? Now, I'm going to write three sentences on the board, and we're going to put them together using and, or, or but. Now, I'll write you think the assistance.
will give us the answers. Okay, here's the first one. Ali wears jeans. He doesn't wear a skirt. Okay, two sentences. Ali wears jeans. He doesn't wear a skirt. So you think, what goes in here? Okay, second one. Isabel wears jeans. She wears a t-shirt. Okay? Isabel wears jeans. She wears a t-shirt. Okay, you think, what goes in here? And then the third one. Susan wears a sweater. She wears a blouse. Okay? Susan wears a sweater. She wears a blouse. What goes in here? Now, our assistants will tell us. So, here we go. Susan, you do number one. Ali wears jeans, but he doesn't wear a skirt. Good, okay. We take this out by but, and then we make this small, he. Okay? Now, we had two sentences. Now we have one. Ali wears, a, wears jeans, but, but he doesn't wear a skirt. Different information. Okay? Now, uh, Ali, you do number two. Isabel wears jeans and she wears a t-shirt. Yes, okay. This comes out. And she wears a t-shirt. Two sentences now with one. Isabel wears jeans and she wears a t-shirt. She wears jeans and she wears a t-shirt. Okay, Isabel, number three. Susan wears a sweater or she wears a blouse. Yes, okay, this comes out. Or, and then this gets small. Susan wears a sweater or she wears a blouse. Okay? Very good. Thank you very much. And now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. The accountant wears a suit, but he doesn't wear a tie. The nurse wears a dress, and she wears white shoes. The student always wears jeans, or he wears pants. The teacher sometimes wears a suit, but he doesn't wear jeans. You always wear jeans, but you sometimes wear shorts. Read and repeat. Clothing. Present continuous tense. Now, we're going to talk about the present continuous. Present continuous. Okay. Now, we saw a bit of this with the weather. Remember 
that it's used for the present time, but it shows the action is continuing, okay? Simple present is for habits, facts, and routines, and present continuous is for action right now. Now, again, remember that simple present is for habits, facts, and routines. Present continuous is used for action now. Now, here is an example of the difference. I smoke cigarettes. Very bad. I smoke cigarettes. All right? I smoke cigarettes. That is my habit. Okay? I smoke cigarettes. That is my habit every day. Now, I smoke cigarettes, but I am not smoking a cigarette now. Okay? I smoke cigarettes. I smoke cigarettes, but I am not smoking a cigarette now. Okay? Simple present, present continuous. Okay? Now, this is the formula for present continuous. This is the formula. We have B, mm -mm, ing. Okay? This is the verb. B, mm -mm, ing. This shows it's continuous. Now, this will stay the same, and this changes. Now, look. This is what it looks like. I am wearing jeans. I am wearing jeans. Here's the B. Here's the ing. I am wearing jeans. You are wearing jeans. Again, here's the B, here's the ing. You are wearing jeans. He is wearing jeans. He is wearing jeans. He is wearing jeans. She is wearing jeans. Okay? She is wearing jeans. Here's the B, here's the ing. This is a package. Two words for one verb. We are wearing jeans. We are wearing jeans. You are wearing jeans. You are wearing jeans, and they are wearing jeans. They are wearing jeans. Now look, this is the same. Wearing, 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 wearing. This is the B. M, R, is, is, R, R, R. Okay, this is the B part. So again, I am wearing jeans. You are wearing jeans. He is wearing jeans, she is wearing jeans, we are wearing jeans, you are wearing jeans, and they are wearing jeans. Now, this is what it looks like in the negative. Pretty easy. All we do is add not. Okay. I am, here's the B, am not wearing jeans. Okay? B, not, ing. I am not wearing jeans. You are not wearing jeans. You are not wearing jeans. He is not wearing jeans. 
she is not wearing jeans. She is not wearing jeans. We are not wearing jeans. We are not wearing jeans. You are not wearing jeans. You are not wearing jeans. And they are not wearing jeans. Okay? So, again, here's the B, not, and ing. Okay? I am not wearing jeans. You are not wearing jeans. He is not wearing jeans. She is not wearing jeans. We are not wearing jeans. You are not wearing jeans. They are not wearing jeans. Okay? Now, if you look at the computer, if you look at the screen, this is what it looks like with yes-no questions and short answers. So let's look at the computer now and one by one. Am I wearing jeans? Yes, you are. No, you're not. No, you aren't. Are you wearing jeans? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is he wearing jeans? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Is she wearing jeans? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are we wearing jeans? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. Are you wearing jeans? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. Are they wearing jeans? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Okay. Now, we can also ask information questions. Now, let's take this away, and we'll ask some information questions. Okay? Now, here is one. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? Okay, we need information. I am wearing, wearing jeans. What are you wearing? I am wearing jeans. Okay, so here's the information question. Here's the information. Now, assistants, let me ask you some questions. Susan, are you wearing jeans? No, I'm not. Okay. You ask Ali a question. Ali, are you wearing a skirt? No, I'm not. I am wearing pants. What color are your pants? They are brown. Okay, Ali, ask Isabel. Isabel, what are you wearing? I'm wearing a sweater and a skirt. What color is your skirt? It's black. Okay. Isabel, what am I wearing? You're wearing a jacket and a skirt. Am I wearing jeans? No, you're not. No, I'm not. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask some more questions, but first I want to give you some more vocabulary. So here we go with some more vocabulary words, and then we'll practice the present continuous some more. All right. Now, look at these words. Sit. Sit. Stand. Stand. Listen. Listen. Okay, now be careful. This is no sound. Listen. No t. Listen. Okay? Sleep. Sleep. Smoke. Smoke. 
read, read, write, write. Okay? Now, again, we have sit, stand, listen, sleep, smoke, read, and write. Now, we're going to practice the present continuous with the help of our assistants. So let me ask you some questions. Ali, are you sitting? Yes, I am. Ali, are you standing? No, I'm not. Okay, you ask Isabel a question. Isabel, are you smoking a cigarette now? No, I'm not. I don't smoke. Good girl. Okay, you ask Susan a question. Susan, are you sleeping? No, I'm not. I'm listening. Good. Ali, are you reading? No, I'm not. I'm listening. Okay. Isabel, are you writing? No, I'm not. Are you learning English? Yes, I am. Very good. Okay. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. Are you wearing jeans? Yes, I am. Is she wearing jeans? No, she isn't. What is she wearing? She's wearing a skirt and a blouse. Read and repeat. Let's learn some time words that we can use with the present continuous. Now, we have now, now, right now, right now, oops, and at the moment. At the moment. Okay, they're about the same. Now, right now, at the moment. Okay, now, here are some examples. First, I am speaking English now. I am speaking English now. You are listening at the moment. You are listening at the moment. You are sitting right now. You are sitting right now. So, I am speaking English now. You are listening at the moment. You are sitting right now, okay, at this time. Now, we can combine two verbs, and I'll show you how. Now, let's take these away first. Now, here's the sentence. He is sitting and thinking. Okay? We have two verbs. He is sitting he is sitting and thinking. Now, I'll show you how we did this. Here is the is. There's not an is here. And I'll show you how to do it. He is sitting and he is thinking. Okay? He is sitting and he is thinking. Now, this is okay. This is correct. But we can make it shorter. And the way we do that is to take out this. He is sitting. So these are the same. He, 
is, and then we can take it out like mathematics, okay? Now we have he is sitting and thinking. We took out he, we took out is, because it's the same person, okay? Now, let's practice. Ali, are you sitting right now? Yes, I am. Isabel, are you sleeping at the moment? No, I'm not. I'm listening. Good. Susan, are you standing now? No, I'm sitting and listening. Good. Now, Isabel, ask Ali a question. Okay. Ali, are you working now? No, I'm not. I'm studying. Ali, ask Susan. Susan, is Isabel sleeping now? No, she isn't. She is studying. Okay. Susan, ask me. Teacher, are we speaking English right now? Yes, you are. You are speaking and learning English. And you're doing a great job. Okay. Now, it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. We are speaking English right now. They are not sleeping at the moment. He is walking and talking now. Right now, she is sitting and listening. Read and repeat. review. I'm going to ask you some questions. Susan, what do you do? I am an accountant. And where do you work? I work in an office. All right. Are you working now? No, I'm not. I'm studying. Okay. Ali, what do you do? I'm a dentist. Are you working now? No, I'm studying. Isabel, are you a student? Yes, I am. Are you studying now? Yes, I am. Okay. Ali, is it raining today? No, it isn't. Isabel, is the sun shining today? Yes, it is. And Susan, is it windy today? No, it isn't. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Now it's time to listen and write. Listen and write. Let's start with the dictation. Listen and write these words. Number one, blouse, blouse. Number two, jeans, jeans. Number three, purple, purple. Number four, tie, tie. Number five, suit, suit. Now check your work. Number one, blouse. Number two, jeans. Number three, purple. Number four, tie. Number five, suit. Now, listen and write these sentences. Number one, she is wearing a purple suit and black shoes. She is wearing a purple suit and black shoes. Number two, he usually wears a black and white tie. He usually wears 
a black and white tie. Number three. We are not wearing jeans right now. We are not wearing jeans right now. Number four. Ali and Isabel are listening and writing at the moment. Ali and Isabel are listening and writing at the moment. Number five. The teacher is not sleeping now. The teacher is not sleeping now. Now, check your work. Number one. She is wearing a purple suit and black shoes. Number two. He usually wears a black and white tie. Number three. We are not wearing jeans right now. Number four. Ali and Isabel are listening and writing at the moment. Number five. The teacher is not sleeping now. Now, read the story and answer the questions about it. Read and answer. Today is an important day for Anne. She is starting a new job. She is a manager in a big firm. Her new office is in the city. She is tall and pretty. She has short red hair and blue eyes. Today, she is wearing a black skirt and a black jacket. Her blouse is light blue. Her shoes are black. She looks great. Now, answer the questions. Number one, why is today important? Why is today important? Number two, what is Anne's job? What is Anne's job? Number three, where is her new office? Where is her new office? Number four. Is she short? Is she short? Number five. Is she pretty? Is she pretty? Number six. What color is her hair? What color is her hair? Number seven, what color are her eyes? What color are her eyes? Number eight, what is she wearing today? What is she wearing today? Number nine, what color is her blouse? What color is her blouse? Number 10. How does she look? How does she look? Okay, now check your work. Number 1. Why is today important? She is starting a new job. Number 2. What is Anne's job? She is a manager. Number three. Where is her new office? It is in the city. Number four. Is she short? 
No, she isn't. Number five. Is she pretty? Yes, she is. Number six. What color is her hair? Her hair is red. Number seven. What color are her eyes? Her eyes are blue. Number eight. What is she wearing today? She's wearing a black skirt and jacket, a blue blouse, and black shoes. Number nine. What color is her blouse? It is light blue. Number 10. How does she look? She looks great. All right, good job, and we'll see you next time. Practicing English. Those jeans in that window, those are really blue. I like the jeans, but the color is too dark for me. I agree. I wouldn't wear such a dark color. I think Angie's right. They're great. I like them too. Yeah, whatever. Let's go inside and look around. I need to do some shopping. Sure. Those jeans I saw in the window come in my size. What do you think? They look good on you. What will you buy to go with them? Well, I saw two other things that I liked. One was a yellow sweatshirt, and the other one was a blouse. I think that I will try them on, too. That looks good on you, uh-huh. Thanks, I like it, too. I think the brown pants would look good with it. What do you think? Well, if you're thinking of the brown pants, you should try a green shirt with them. What? Okay, like this one? Yeah. If you get the brown pants, you'll have two shirts to wear with them. Good idea. Hey, what do you think of this green shirt? I usually don't like bright colors, but I think this is good for a change. Well, with your brown hair and those blue jeans, it looks really good. What do you think? Should I add a baseball cap? Maybe a beige one? Or an orange one. I think the beige one is better. Okay. Now I need to find some shorts for this summer. <clears throat> hey! Aw, oh, look at all the things you found. The green shirt first, then the beige baseball cap. And now you have khaki shorts, a blue jean jacket, and this great red sweatshirt. Uh, I know it looks like a lot, but I like trying on new clothes. <gasps> well, what are you guys staring at? I'm just trying these on. Jack, you have every color of the rainbow on. Orange, yellow, green, that's great. You look very bright. Well, sometimes I like bright colors. Yes, but you look bad in all those colors. Do you really think so? Well, I like the yellow shirt, Jack. But why don't you try on black jeans? The shirt is nice. OK, I will try wearing black jeans with the yellow shirt. What do you think of the orange cap? Hmm. Maybe you could wear it with this white shirt. Okay. I think that looks good. What about the red pants? Let's try those black jeans. Or some beige ones, uh, like mine. Wow. These are great. And I like them, too. I like Sam's hat. I'm glad we can wear jeans and sneakers. Hey, there's another store down here. We should go there. Let's do some more shopping. Uh-huh. 